Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 106. So, uh, today's episode, I want to show you guys a, another way of getting Microsoft Office. Now, Microsoft Office, the suite, is very expensive. A lot of people can't afford it, or they basically find torrents, and they download it, and they activate it with the serial number that the torrent came with, and you got Office 2010. But, believe it or not, you can actually get a substitute for free. And I did some research around and I found out that KingSoftStore.com actually offers an offer suite for free for 2012, that's their version, that provides you Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Um, they don't call it Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, but as you can see, their Word version will be called Writer Free. Their PowerPoint is called Presentation Free, and their Excel is called Spreadsheet Free. 2012. Uh, you can actually download the software individually. If not, you can just download the package. Uh, I downloaded the package and I placed it on my desktop on my virtual machine, my testing machine for you guys so I can show you guys how it is and how to install it. So let's double click on this guy and open this up and let's get this thing started. So basic rundown, installation, blah blah blah, hit next. I do accept. To read all that if you guys have time hit next it has some templates and samples so that's pretty cool hit next basic default location would be C drive why not and it only needs about 100 uh, about 153 megabytes of space that's okay hit install and show details if you want installation looks like pretty straightforward installation is a little better than the Microsoft Office 2010. For those that actually install Office 2010 for the very first time, it takes forever. Um, this right here, it's a little faster, so it's pretty cool. From my understanding, I think the Kingsoft Office suite, uh, you can basically use the same files with Office, which I'm gonna try it out now and show you guys. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna minimize my virtual machine, and I'm also gonna minimize this page. I'm also um, add that link at the bottom of the description so if you guys want to check it out just click there um, I'm gonna open up Word from my host machine and I'm going to save a document I'm gonna create a document hopefully Word starts up and it's coming there goes Word 2010 as you guys can see and I'm going to just say this is a test a lot of you IT guys do do this when you do testing and printing testing in your office. I do it a lot. Uh, I'm going to do a save as because I need to save it. And I'm going to actually put it on my downloads folder. And I'm going to save it. The only reason that I put it in the downloads folder because I actually have a network share connected to my virtual machine directly to the um, download folder. So we're going to go back into my virtual machine. Looks like we already finished. We're going to click next. Uh, use Kingston Soft Office 2012 to open the files, Office product files by default. Pretty cool. These are all the basic default extensions for Office 2010. So if you want to continue collaborating with a person that does have Office 2010 with your Kingsoft Office suite, hey, keep that alive. Um, yeah, I leave everything as is and close it. And that's it. Look at that. Uh, I'm going to delete these. I'm going to delete this exe file because this oh, actually hasn't finished doing what it needs to do. Let's see if I could delete it. Excellent. And there we go. So I'm actually going to go into that downloads folder. Downloads folder. And there goes. This is the test. As you can see, it's that word is pre. It's um, the word app, the writer app is actually reading it. So if I double click on it, Kingston Soft Friday 2012 opens up. And I should be able to view my Office 2012 within Kingsoft Office Suite, which is pretty awesome. Best substitute out there so far. Um, I, for my my own opinion, I give two thumbs up. I would actually recommend this to anyone that wants Office, and they're not looking. They have like a low budget of zero dollars. I would actually recommend this. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this review. Uh, give me thumbs up if you enjoyed the, the video as well at the very bottom leave some comments and let me know what you think about this application or if you guys 
uh, use other applications that's in a substitute for Microsoft Office, I would love to hear from you guys. As well, at the very top right there, there is a subscribe button. Just hit that button if you guys want to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software. And also, don't forget about gaming. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.